everybody, I'm joined with Yo from How to Cake It, and today we're doing something totally epic. I love her videos. I think she's one of the most talented cake makers of the, oh, you're probably the, the most talented well, cake maker you. in the world. See, if you haven't checked out her channel, the link will be in the description below. Today, we're doing some epic brain cupcakes and we're gonna show you a few ingredients that you guys can add to these cupcakes in case you want to prank your friends let's get started we are making cupcakes today are these red velvet blood red velvet cake so it's even just a nastier red than normal which red is velvet. perfect for the time of year it's essential it's essential it's yeah. essential so most of my viewers probably well, I would say probably there's 10% of people that can probably make cupcakes without, you know, needing too much direction. How hard is it to make these? It's easy. Very easy? It's very easy and really this like cupcake holder makes it look. Oh, that, that's he a has stall. a headache. That's dope. He's got Check a that headache. Check out. How do people find out how to make these? Well, I have the recipe and I have the skull cupcake holders at howtokickit.com. Awesome. So what we're doing today is the more complicated part, the more artistic part, right? And that is we're going to plop a brain on top. Yeah, plop what is I, the right word. This, what is, we're going to plop a brain what, on top. What, what's the right word? So let's learn how to make brains. That looks like a brain right there. Well, I, <laughs> so. I went ahead and made some flesh colored fondant. Flesh color mm. fondant. So fondant is comprised of what? Sugar, some sugar, a little bit of sugar. Uh, and then at the end, you add a bit more sugar. <laughs> So it's really 100% sugar. Pretty much. So in case uh, you ever have a cake that is purely made out of fondant, um, get a lot of water and a lot of milk. And have <laughs> because a it comes brush. sweet and have a toothbrush. So we're gonna be nice to you guys, and we're just gonna make small little brains or big brains, whatever it is, but you know, relatively small so that you guys don't kill yourselves with sugar. <laughs> so I remember that you made an actual giant human brain on your channel. That thing was so realistic. So are we taking that and just making miniature versions Pretty of it? Pretty much. Okay. We're making the household brain version. Okay. I like it. So how do we start? What, what's what's the trick? Do we got to mold the actual shape first or what? Yeah. Well, we're going to do a couple of things. Okay. First, I thought we would. This is seedless raspberry jam. Mmm. Delicious. But the perfect kind of gloopy consistency for blood. And but, a perfect consistency to add some hot sauce if you want to prank somebody. But we'll get into that at the end, all yes. right, guys? So I thought we would make it even more bloody and red. I like it. Okay, so I'll throw in some food coloring and you just stir. Okay. Lovely. Is that a Take lot it. or is that little? No, that's I no, a little. I, I have no idea. I'm going to add some darker burgundy because okay. we want it to look like, you know, old blood. Ugh. I've said that a few times on my channel now. Let's keep stirring. That changes color. It does. When you pick it up on the spatula, you can see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Whoa. it's because it's all in there. Damn. Okay, we're good. So what I thought we could do is put some of that in this bag okay. and inject it in the cupcakes. That I like it. when people eat it, okay. they don't really know it's there under the brain and then it might splash out on their face. I like it. Know. So, would you mind pouring some jam into this bag? Just a bit. So am I going with this? just pick up the whole bowl. Oh, okay. Feel it on you. I'm nervous. It's okay. Don't be nervous. So now you've got your bag of blood. All right. Oh. Damn. That looks really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> so all you have to do is press the tip down into the cupcake. Okay. And I'm going to untwist it. So you can see, look at the brain. Look. Whoa. Yeah. That's so cool. So it'll be in so there. So is that, is that how they the always do it? They just yeah. inject it? Yeah. That's so would you like to do that? Yeah, I want okay. to do the next one. Hell yeah, I do. So, so you just press the metal part all the way in and now squeeze all that jam. Now we oh. squeeze? Yeah, from the bag. We got a lot in there. There we go. Oh. Okay guys, so these cupcakes, when they're in these awesome holders, are great for like eating with a spoon and just really enjoying them. If you want to prank your friends, you really need like a physical cupcake in your hand that they'll take a big bite into. So we've made some additional cupcakes right here. And what we're gonna use today for our pranking material is a little mustard. Mmm, I love mustard and red velvet. It's so good, so good. You can obviously use other ingredients, wasabi, some hot sauce. Like we said, you can put some hot sauce into this, um, the red blood jam that we've made here. Any other disgusting sauces like mayonnaise, which mm. we both hate. Did you know that she hates mayonnaise as well? Death by mayonnaise. Mayonnaise but would look great though. It would. It'd look like it green would. matter. Yeah, it'd be like pus. Pu oh! 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 So we have a little bit of your traditional yellow mustard as well. We're going to, how, how are we gonna inject this into here? I think we can here? use this as an injector. Or I can get a piping tip. Ooh, ooh! Ooh! So we could just press that in. Uh-huh. And now take out a bit of cake. Yep. Okay. Can I eat that? 
Uh, okay, Thank you. That's a, or maybe we taste. should put it back so they don't know the mustard is there, right? Squirt. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of mustard into this piping bag. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, it should be good, right? This is your first time piping mustard. Yeah, it is. It? Yep. Clearly, I am not skilled at piping mustard. <laughs> we're gonna put it right in there. Oh, oh. untwist it. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I was like, why isn't that's anything going in? Yeah, it's in there. It's cool. definitely in there. Okay. It's definitely in there. Top it up. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What mustard? This is a cupcake. And then we have the brain over top too, so nobody's right, ever gonna know. No one's ever gonna know. Until they bite it. I wanna know how to make these braids, because I'm super excited about okay, this cool. part. Let's get this started. So the first thing we need to do, ooh, it's okay, I'm gonna roll with it, <laughs> is knead some flesh-colored fondant mm -hmm. that is now just a bit bloody. Just a little bit bloody, that's okay. So I like to put some shortening on my hands. This stops it from sticking. Oh. Yeah, that's a good, and it also softens it. Because what we're gonna do is put it through a pasta machine. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah. I like getting greasy. There you go. I'm doing this with one hand because this hand is not fully recovered yet, as you guys may or may not know. You're just kneading it and softening it. I want it to be soft enough to go through the pasta. I gotcha, I gotcha. So now we're just gonna take a piece of fondant like this. I'll pre-roll it just a tad, just to flatten it a bit. Why does yours look so much nicer than that? I have a little more practice than you. Just a little bit. Like a tad. Oh, and two hands. <laughs> Oh, yours is, mm, interesting. Say you get sexual comments? Gee, I don't, I can't even imagine. It's so weird. I don't know what it's, it's, these, okay. Uh, <laughs> does this, does this meet the new YouTube uh, guidelines? So this is just my pasta attachment. Mm -hmm. uh, I put it on my mixer and then when I turn it on, you can see the wheel spinning. Yep. Okay. Not too fast, but not too slow. And now you just take the bonnet, sometimes it takes a couple of tries. Okay. And you sort of, Press it through. Oh, what? Oh, it's actually making it like pasta. Yeah, but because it's sweet, it sticks to it a bit. Okay. Yum. So now you have this like flesh pile. Yeah. Sweet noodles, I guess. Mm hmm. Then what you can do is just kind of like compress it a bit. How big are these brains that we're making? They're gonna cover the whole thing? Yeah, they're oh, gonna cover great. like the top. Oh, right? that's perfect. Now you get that brain texture. texture. And okay, okay, okay. So if you don't have this, you can also roll out the fondant, cut strips, you can use a strip cutter or a knife, and then piece them all together. That it will sounds... take a bit longer. Yeah, for sure. Here I have a brain. So I've got to make the like left and right hemisphere. So I'm going to use a, I have a thing with rulers, Pete. I don't know if you know this, but I try to work them into all my designs, <sighs> even a brain. And then I'm just using like a sculpting tool to just define that line, mm -hmm. not make it look so sharp. So now what we can do is take a bit of our jam. We have some on the top of this. Right. So I'm just gonna brush it around as the glue. That's what I was gonna say. And if any oozes out, it doesn't matter. Right. Because it just looks like more blood. Oh, and one final step. Brains are a little. A little bit bloody. Just like a bit. Mm. We want a fresh brain. Yes. Right? Freshly baked brain cupcake. Mm. Is this brain bloody enough for you, Pete? I think that's getting pretty bloody for me. So now we just pop this on the cupcake and it's like it's from a freshly cracked open skull. Oh, that's awesome. That's mm. so cool. And if you want, you know, more blood, you can you just, just drip. It at the end. Oh, yeah. You know, have a whole drip, have a whole area. Oh, I like it. Maybe it was like some kind of head trauma. More than likely if the whole head Brick, is exposed. That's true. I mean, he's missing the top. <laughs> Want to make this as gory. creepy as you possibly can, And guys. this is the great thing. If it drips, even better. Detail here is important, especially if you're trying to prank somebody like by putting actually mustard in the middle or hot sauce or wasabi. It's really important because people are so distracted by the details and the goriness of the cupcake that they're never gonna think, oh, he put so much effort into that. He's not gonna put effort, like put mustard inside. There's just no way, but that's where we get them. That's where we get the suckers. Over here. Okay. I like when I just focus on pushing the fondant. Just let it go. Just keep pushing. Okay. 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 Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Kind of look at the top of your uh, cupcake gathered into like a, like a bit of a circle. It's so much fun. This is so cool. The next thing I gotta do is get my ruler. Very important. Very important. You have to use a ruler. You can't use anything else. No, Very I don't want to see any butter knives used. I'll go right in the middle. How far down am I going here? Uh, just so you can see a nice line, and then yeah. you can accentuate it with the sculpting tool. Yeah, the smooth side down. Yeah. 
Okay, smooth in the sides a little, right? Yeah. I feel like mine's kind of lopsided, but that's okay. My guy's a little weird. Brush some jam onto the top of your cupcake. Put your brain on and then brush your brain. Pretty easy. Yeah. Once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. No. And so you just need you just need to know the tricks and everything, and then you're good to go. Brain. I like this side better. Plop him on right there. I'm gonna paint him, right? Yes. This really is like art. Okay. It was pretty good. Pretty satisfied with that one. This one will be the less bloody one. I'm gonna put that right there. We have our delicious cupcakes that anyone can eat. Now we're gonna quickly make our prank cupcake. These are gonna be a little bit more difficult to do for the prank. Like I said, if you're using a spoon to get in there, it might be a little bit more noticeable when you have it in one of these guys. It might be just, you know, people will just take peel off back the, the paper. People peel back the paper and just dive right into it and you'll get that nice reaction that you're looking for. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and just show you guys on this guy how you would do it. Let's do it. Let's do one more brain. He had a big brain, but he didn't know how to use it. Absolutely. That's, that's one of these guys. That's like me. <laughs> Big brain, doesn't know how to use it. So this is the cupcake that we put mustard into, so we're actually gonna decorate it even more so you won't be able to see any yellow even if you lift off the brain. What mustard? What mustard? What you talking about? Plop the brain on. Mm -hmm. Just plop it. Just plop it. So we're gonna finish off these cupcakes. We got a little bit of mustard that we injected into both of these guys. Obviously, if you don't have these kind of containers, these skulls, you can just use a normal cupcake paper holder. What do you call these? Yeah, a cupcake paper. There we go, cupcake paper. You can just use that and uh, do the exact same thing. In fact, if you're biting into it, if you're pranking somebody, this is probably actually a safer bet, an easier way to prank someone, and, and we'll, we'll show you in a second, guys. All right, so let's finish this off. Let's get those brains on there. We gotta, we gotta paint these guys yes, a little I'll bit, right? Yes, I'll put a little dollop of jam. Yep. And then you can paint, just cover up the mustard. Nobody will know. Uh -oh. oh, don't, yeah, don't. <laughs> Nobody will know, don't worry. It's just a weird, it's the, it's, it's the. It's brain matter. It's brain matter, mm, it's like gangrene, gangrene. Mm. that's a gangrene coming out, no big deal. Brains on, Ooh. this little guy will go onto here. He's, he's a little bit of a smaller guy, so we'll put him right here. I'll get this big old brain. Ooh, yeah. Oh, Oof. No, we'll oh. okay. I'll take mm. this guy. Plop him on, just like so. You can always add a little more bloody jam dripping over the sides. So if you were to prank someone, you take the little baby and- You're gonna eat it. You're gonna you just take it like that. And then I wonder what this, you think it's gonna taste bad or good? What do you think? I mean, I like mustard and I like cupcakes. Together, I'm not that sure. <laughs> that good, eh? That's so gross. <laughs> oh. Oh man, that is like, you take a bite into that, you're gonna get a reaction, 100%. If you want a long-term reaction, put some wasabi, put some hot sauce, and people are gonna be <laughs> reacting for a long time, but that works like a charm. All right, you know, I tried my cupcake. I think you gotta have a little bit of a taste test. See, see what it's all about. I think you should have the nicest one. The mustard one. No, 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 this is the nicest brain. That's why oh, I'm giving it to I you. See. It's the nicest looking one. This, is, this doesn't have mustard. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. You think that really, I, I wouldn't do that to you. Come on. Okay. All right, th there you go. Thank you, Pete. No problem. I love red I know, red. right? It's so good. What, what's wrong? Oh! What's wrong? Oh! No? Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! It just, it just stays with you and it's not, I, I think the biggest thing is that you're not expecting it. Even if you love mustard, you're not expecting it. You want that sweetness. And it doesn't oh! <laughs> You might have ruined mustard for me. It's just like worlds colliding in the worst way Yeah, possible. right? All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you very much for showing me these epic cupcakes. You're they welcome. were They were awesome. But you know what's even more amazing? The video we did on her channel. 
she made a torn leg. This thing was so realistic. It was delicious. Thank you very much for like giving me a little piece of it. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to check out that video, and I highly recommend that you do, the link will be in the description below or click the annotation within this video. Also, make sure you check out the rest of her videos. What's your favorite video you've made? Favorite cake that you've made? Well, even though I've made a brain, a heart, and a severed leg, <laughs> Uh, roasted turkey is still my favorite. That is, that was an awesome one. So make sure you guys check that out. Show her some love. As always, my friends, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Give it a thumbs up, and we'll catch you guys later. You guys stay sexy, stay hungry, get gains, and get laid. All right, Team Furious, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Comment below what your favorite moment was from the episode. I'm curious. I wonder if it's the same one as mine. Make sure you guys check out last week's episode. Link will be right there. Check out my last vlog. Link will be right there. Check out my last gameplay video. Link will be right there. And make sure you check out everything that we have in stock at Fury's Apparel. Link will be right below. We'll catch you guys next week. As always, my friends, you guys stay sexy, stay hungry, get gangs, and get laid.